you don't think love ghosts... is a blend of compassion and encouragement and truth love's and complicated truth. man this is jordan peterson explaining why tolerance compassion things like that uh, are not necessarily the ideal virtue in a society that wants to function i don't regard compassion as a virtue compassion is a reflex not a virtue you don't think judicious com compassion is a virtue wait wait a minute wait a minute compassion can come deep from the human heart and the human mind i think are we talking about the same kind of compassion yes trying to understand the suffering treating the adults like infants is not virtuous i i see but you're you're you, well compassion isn't treating adults like in, i mean those are just terms are you, are you but, sure okay i whatever the term is maybe eatable, love, love is eatable maybe the compassion word. is I mean, I, I suppose I'm speaking to love. You don't think those ideas came from concern? Love is compassion. You don't think love those... is a blend of compassion and encouragement and truth. Love's and complicated, truth. man. Yeah, if I love you, in it, yes. if I love you, is it compassion or encouragement you want from me? Yeah, it's a dance. Love, love is definitely a dance of two two humans. Ultimately, that leads to the growth of both. Well, yes. that's the thing. The growth element is crucial. Because the growth element, to foster the growth element, that requires judgment. Compassion and judgment, well, even, and have been conceptualized this way forever, two hands of God, mercy and justice. They have to operate in tandem, right? And mercy is, flawed as you are, you're acceptable. It's like, well, do you want that? Do you want your flaws to be acceptable? And the answer to that is no. It's so it's like, well, that's where the judgment comes in. It's like, but you could be better. You could be more than you are. And that's the maternal and the paternal in some fundamental sense. And there has to be an active exchange of information between those two poles. Well, that's where we're at, guys. We could use a little judgment. We could use a little bit of mercy and justice. It's not to be racist and never let anyone into the country, but we also have to decide that we are a country of laws and we'll do it judiciously and properly and everything else. It is not just endlessly merciful to say people and steal whatever they want and do drugs on the street and come here regardless of their values. That's not merciful. You might think it's merciful for, to them. It's actually not, but it's certainly not merciful to the law-abiding people who live in this country right now. So we have to combine those two things, combine mercy and justice instead of combining just wokeness and tolerance, right? Oh my God, we're so compassionate. We let everybody do whatever the hell we want. That is not great. What is great is what we've had here, right? It was meritocracy because meritocracy, what's baked into that is virtue, right? If you just have to go out, if there's just laws that say, we're equal, go get what you can. And maybe it was tougher for your grandparents than your grandparents and this, that, the other thing. Okay, fine, but we're equal, get what you can. Then there is a amazing game to be played. It is the game that is the jealousy of, of the entire history of the world that it, the default position of the world is not that everything is equal and everyone can just get out there and do it, but we've done it here and we are, we are throwing it away.